Hello, and welcome to creating an adaptive release. Today we will set an adaptive release to a test in order to make it available only to an SDRC registered student. Now there are a couple of different types of adaptive releases that you can make. There is the regular adaptive release menu and the adaptive release advanced menu. For all intents and purposes, you're always going to use Adaptive Release Advanced as this gives you slightly more control and can, you can set more parameters um, within the Adaptive Release. Now, in order to start making the Adaptive Release, we click on Adaptive Release Advance. The first thing we need to do is create a rule. Now, creating a rule will allow us to set certain criteria in order to, so that only someone, one student or whatever student you choose really, can access this particular, in this case, test. So for us, we're going to call rule one, and we're going to call it test. Now, once you've named your rule, you will be brought to the manage criteria string screen. In order to manage criteria, we have three different criteria we can create, date, grade, and membership. Grade criteria will never really be used. All that does is mean that all that means is that a student must make a certain grade in order to view the materials. Um, usually we don't do that, so you can kind of write off grade at this point. Um, the first criteria we want to do is set the date. Now, we can see that the dates are set on this to bring up the automatically set dates within the menu test menu of options. However, we're going to set it as today's date available until the 12th of October and we're going to submit. Now every time you set any date restrictions within the Blackboard environment on an adaptive release or creation of a test or assignment or anything of that material, it's going to automatically bring up this box. This is just saying, hey, you've created a date and we always want to select OK. After we've created our date criteria, we want to go ahead and create our membership criteria. In order to do that, we will click Membership, and we will add in a username. The username is always the FSU ID of the student. If you don't know that, you can select Browse. It will bring up in a new box where you can search via last name and automatically add in that way. For this, we'll use my FSU ID. And as always, we will select Submit. Now, your adaptive release is created, but you're not done yet. In order for this adaptive release to actually take effect, we have to edit the actual test itself to reflect the dates that are made within the rule. So if we select OK and go back to the actual test, we'll be able to do this. For this, we go to the, again into our submenu and we select edit the test options. Now you want to make sure that the link's always available and you want to go down again to your date criteria. Sorry about that. You want to make the link available and then you want to scroll down to your criteria and make sure that your criteria matches the same criteria that's in your adaptive release. So today's date all the way until the 12th. This will allow that the item can actually be viewed by the student when they want to take the test during the date parameters and time parameters that you set. Now, after you've successfully created an adaptive release, you will notice that under the actual title of the item, it says Enabled Adaptive Release, and that the previously grayed out icon is now back in full color. This has been creating an adaptive release with Aiden Sizemore.